People will sometimes get nervous about the idea of, of turning their lives over to God or, or, you know, take up your cross and follow me, live your life for me. For some people, this idea of surrendering their lives to God is, is like the worst thing they can imagine. Uh, it, it seems really negative. And part of what can come across as negative is that people feel like these concepts are indicative of defeat. I mean, if you, if you surrender to God, it's a form of losing, right? But another reason why people don't like these concepts is that there really is a belief. I mean, some people really believe that whatever it is that God might want for our lives <laughs> would be less. It's got to be, it'd be less exciting, it'd be less fulfilling. Whatever God wants would be less meaningful. I mean, it'd have to be less joyful, right? God, I mean, God, God's not even into joy. Everybody knows that. He's, he's this mean, stern, stodgy, kind of an old cranky guy. Since, in their minds, God is somewhat boring, therefore, I mean, it only makes sense, really, that then living God's way would be a lesser way of living. And what I want to say to you is that is so incorrect. That, that's incorrect. It's just, it's such an incorrect view of, of God. It's an incorrect view of of what God wants for your life. Hey friends, my, my dearly beloved friends, what God wants for you is not lesser. It, it, it's not. It's better. It's not boring. It's exciting. It's not what God wants is not a small, minimized expression of your life. It's a fuller, grander, more significant expression of your life. What God wants for you is the true purpose for which He created you. And that's going to be what's best.